Hello there, hi. Uh, my name is Julie. I um, thought I'd do this live on my page from my studio in uh, Sarat today. So I am an artist, I paint with beeswax. Um, and uh, so I just thought I'd do it, hop on and do a quick live and tell you about what's been happening recently because there's been lots and lots of changes. So um, what I've, for those of you that don't know me, um, I've been painting with beeswax, also called encaustic wax, um, for a good number of years now. Uh, and I just, I've been finding I've been getting more and more inquiries um, and people asking me about it. So I've been working on just trying to format that into a, a better way to communicate to people. So I've been doing loads of work on my website um, and uh, yeah, just trying to get it to be a really good resource for people because it's, it's, it's quite well known in the States and in Canada, but it's really not well known at all in the UK and Europe and um, just trying to put a, pull a bit of a resource together for people. So um, I've got an art studio, you can sort of see behind me. I'm here in, uh, in Hertfordshire. Uh, I'm, so I'm probably about 30, 40 minutes from London, sort of north, northwest, um, to give you a bit of a, an idea on bearing. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's really peaceful and quiet in the countryside. It's beautiful up here. It's a bit in the middle of nowhere, right off the beaten track, um, but only only a sort of mile and a half, two miles from the M25. So really close to things, but equally really peaceful. So, uh, yeah, I found this lovely little place and... Um, I am going to, I've kind of worked out a series of workshops and um, ways of sharing my space with people while still balancing time for me to paint for myself as well. Anyhow, I'm going to switch this around and show you what we've been up to. So for those that you don't know, I have got a website, um, you can see that okay, the light's reflecting, turn that down, called artyheaven.com. Um, so I just wanted to show you, I've been doing, if you haven't looked on here recently, go and have a have a look. Um, I've been doing lots and lots of um, updates on here. So if you want to know what encaustic wax is, you, there are lots of tabs here that will kind of um, tell you about it. Uh, there's a blog which has got all sorts of interesting things, contact, how to contact me, where the location of my studio is. Um, and then I've got uh, a shop section as well where you can go and view and see my art. Hello, Paula. Uh, you can go and see my art, you can find out how to buy wax supplies, they're really, really tricky to come by in the UK, um, and uh, how to basically work with encaustic as well, sort of how to work with me. So this is the page I'm on at the moment, so what I'm going to talk about right now. So yeah, go and have a look. Um, so I'm losing my way. So what I wanted to cover, so something that's coming up, I wanted to talk in particular, I'm not going to go through all of these now, but just point you in the right direction, that um, I'm going to run some art retreats. I'm going to do two a year and I've got just set dates for two in 2019 and two in 2020. Uh, the reason I'm just talking about those right now is I've just had confirmation of one of the tutors that I'm going to bring in, um, which is really exciting. So I wanted to hop on and do this live just to explain. So I've done a lot of, if you haven't been on my website recently, do go and have a look. I've done a lot of work recently on um, all the different ways in which you can work with me. So if you can't actually make it to Real Life Workshop, I've got a series of online courses that cover so many different ways you can work with wax. Um, so there's loads of different information on here. You can paint with, you can paint with an iron. You can, uh, yeah, art retreats. You can paint with a stylus. Um, there's lots of, there's a couple of coming soon. This is the one that I'm currently working on. And this is the most this is my current favourite, um, working with beeswax and Damar resin, and this is where you build up in layers. So this is, uh, so I've basically tried to cover um, lots of different ways of working with me. So from online to actually coming to my studio. So I've got um, two day workshops with that same style. You can just have some fun, have a go if you're not particularly artistic, um, have a go sessions there. But the ones I want to cover now, um, I've studio work and do it. So there's, there's kind of lots of things with different price points depending on where you're at basically. So um, I'm pleased to hear you're excited Paulie, you need a trip over and come and uh, work with some encaustic uh, wax in the UK. So let me take you into this section and this is the bit that I've been working on recently and I'm most excited about. So what I've done is there's a go and have a look I'm not going to read all of this out now but there's a there's a there's a good introduction um, of what we'll cover where my studio is etc. And I've set four dates, so I'm going to do one date this year for beginners and one date for people already working with encaustic and then the same in 2020. So I'm only going to do those two weeks each, you know, one week each year 
Oh no, I'm sorry, I hope you can hear me okay. The um, the reception isn't particularly great up here, so if it doesn't record, I'll go back and do a video and, uh, and post that instead um, later when I get back. Uh, so there are only four people on each uh, week, so it's like really, uh, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, so it's nice small groups. Um, so there's one for beginners, which is actually not too far away this June. Um, and then there's one for people who already work with Encaustic. So I'm hoping you can hear this okay. Let me know if you can. Um, I'm just going to keep going and hope that you can uh, can hear what I'm saying. So. I won't go through all of these, um, but a few pictures of uh, my studio as well. So this is my studio. This is the view out in the garden. It really is just idyllic up here. It's beautiful. So go and have a look on the website. It's got the dates and everything on there. But what I'll just quickly cover is, um, so, so this is the beginner's one um, and what we would cover. So. Day one, we're going to sort of welcome, get to know each other, a bit of background, health and safety, uh, going through all that kind of thing. Um, sorry, I'm just checking the comments as they come in, so apologies. Connection was getting interrupted. I'm hoping it's all coming back online again, so um, I, I'm going to just keep going for a moment and uh, hopefully you can hear this okay. Uh, studio is amazing. I am so fortunate to be up here. It's unbelievable. So anyhow, so for beginners on, on the beginners one, we're going to go through like background and history is a real rich, fascinating history within caustic supports to work on different types of waxes, different types of mediums, different ways of coloring the wax, health and safety and so forth. So we're kind of a real good grounding with that. Um, then we're going to start working on the boards. Day two, we're going to we're going to start working on that on day one. Prepare some boards for day two. Day two, we're going to keep on building on those let on what we've been learning on day one. Uh, and then let me turn this back around for a moment. It's pointing at the computer the whole time. So what I found when I've gone on workshops myself, I've loved them, but I have been bombarded with so much information. I've then not had the time to go and digest and take that in for myself. So what I've built into this course is some time, like a bit of downtime just to kind of be able to percolate everything, take, you know, go and think about things. And what I always do is I teach techniques rather than teaching you how to paint a particular picture with this style. Um, it's techniques, it's kind of really sparking off ideas in your head. So on Wednesday morning, day three, you kind of get a free morning to go and digest everything. Less is more for sure, yeah. I just, I've, I've done it myself, I've gone away and I've just not had time to even process things. I've just been exhausted. So there's a free morning on day three and then we go down to Berkhamsted, which isn't, which is sort of my, my local town where I live. And they've got the most amazing art shop there, it's fantastic. Um, so your I, your head will be sparking with ideas by this point. So we'll go down to the art shop and just have a look around. If there's any other suppliers you want to pick up that you can then incorporate, you can. Um, it's a beautiful town, really, really interesting town to walk through. Um, so we'd all meet up about half 11, go and have some brunch, trip to the art shop and then come up here for about half one, ready for a two o'clock start. And then we'll work from two till six up here and then you can carry on till eight o'clock if you want to. Um, sort of not tutored, but just, just to give yourself that time, just to kind of learn for yourself what you've been learning to actually start to apply those techniques. So, sounds like Paul is liking the sound of it, so that's that's good to hear. Uh, so that's day three. I'm going to talk to you here on here rather than showing you the computer, because you can go and read this, you know where it is now. So day four is a free studio, working the studio day. So you're going to consolidate everything that you've learnt. Um, and also opportunity for you, particularly if you're in the beginner's course, you probably won't have your own um, supplies, materials. You might want to order things. And getting supplies is really, really difficult in the UK. So we can tap into my suppliers. We can get you set up with any kit that you want and equipment. So that's what day four is for. So kind of, yeah, just filtering things out for yourself and making sure that you've got everything that you would need to continue on when you get back at home. So day five is Friday and that is we're going to go up to London for the day. So uh, we're going to go to the British Museum and um, the Petrie Museum up in London where they've got um, some encaustic wax Fayum 2000 year old mummy panels. So we're going to go up there have a look at those. Um, we'll get a taxi up, we'll go up together. So there's no kind of stress about the you know, getting there, taxis, that kind of thing. So that's all organised. I'm, you know, just ready to pick up the phone and go. 
Um, we'll go and have a bit of lunch and it'll just be a really nice kind of look at the history. Uh, just enjoy a day in London as well and just kind of get out and spark some more ideas off. And then there's the most amazing art shop just down the road from the British Museum where there are just pigments as far as the eye can see. It's an old fashioned art store, beautiful old fashioned wooden drawers. Um, it's, oh, it's just, you just go in there and like, ah, it's amazing. So um, awesome, sounds like Paula's on her way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's the most amazing art store to go into. It's beautiful, absolutely lovely. So we'll go in there as well. Um, and then if you guys want to carry on and go up to London for the day, that's fine. Um, you know, you're in London, go and have a night out in London, whatever. Uh, or there's a taxi back. So if you stay on, you make your own way home. If you come back to Hertfordshire, then there's a taxi back home. So, uh, yeah. So Paula, short flight over from Canada. It's, um, it's not far. We're not far from Heathrow and Luton Airport, so uh, it's not far away. <laughs> So that's the Friday, day five, and then day six, it's last day at the studio, so look back to the studio, just kind of consolidate everything, finish off any last pieces that you want to work on, um, you know, just sit, take it all in, reflect, journal before you go home. Uh, and then I will get also, I've got um, an RNF, so all the techniques that we'll be covering during this week, I've got an online course as well, so I'll arrange you free access to that as well. So uh, that's that's the beginner's one. Um, so I've got a few people following on live. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just reading the comments as well whilst I'm doing this. So that is the first one. Sounds like it's hitting the, uh, the spot with a couple of you. So that's the beginner's one in June. There's then a, an additional one. This one's going to be in October this year, 7th to the 12th. And this one is basically the same retreat, but for people that are already working with Encaustic. So let me just uh, click on here. So you'll see it basically follows the same same process. I've got the photos. I need to add of the museums on here. Actually, I've not added those on yet, but uh, that's that's on its way. Um, similar kind of format. However, so again, I'm not going to hold this on the computer. Let me turn this back around. Um, so very similar format, but rather than the beginner's day one content, we'll all kind of, it's just an opportunity. What I find is encaustic artists don't, generally have much opportunity to work with other encaustic artists there are so few and far between especially in this area so it's a bit of an opportunity to come together people to just talk to each other understand what's you know just find out about each other's practice as well um i did a um workshop with laura murphy in london a couple of years ago and i think there were sort of eight of us on that from memory but we all just sat there and just that oh my goodness we're in amongst a group of people who all know what it is we understood it we got it um, and that was just invaluable. So sort of day one is really about kind of just listening to what each other are doing, talking about it and everything. Um, and and then we'll kind of move on to other techniques as well. So first of all, kind of just spending a bit of time doing that in the morning, other projects. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm bringing a couple of guest tutors in for that week as well. So I've just literally had confirmed today. So on day two, um, so day two is a guest tutor day and it had full details to follow. So I've literally just had that confirmed now. Um, and there's going to be a, a, a second guest tutor as well on day four. So again, I'm just waiting for details to come back of that. Uh, but she's a lady called Sarah Wickenden. Um, she's been working with Encaustic for well nearly 20 years, I think. Um, I think she started in 2001. Uh, but she has got a wealth of experience with encaustic, um, does an awful lot of bleaching her own beeswax, uh, making her own um, medium, um, sun bleaching, sorry. Um, she also worked at the, let me get the right, yeah, the National Maritime Museum up in London, and she worked on um, teaching workshops uh, based on Stubbs, Dingo and Kangaroo. Um, uh, pictures so they she actually taught workshops up there so she's going to cover some of those techniques on this day two course um oh I, i'm just kind of just formulating and taking the information that she sent me so i'll get that up onto the the page here um later on today or tomorrow um but she has just got so much information so that is going to be amazing uh to have her here for the day um and then i'm hoping i've got i'm speaking with some other people as well so the rest the day two should um should be up very soon as well 
Uh, so, but yeah, day through, same as day, um, so the rest of the week basically follows the same format. Uh, we'll go to Berkhamsted on the Wednesday, London on the Friday, but so very similar, but you know, one for complete beginners, new to painting with beeswax and demo resin, and one for artists already working with, uh, with beeswax and resin. Um, and I've got lots of more advanced techniques. So things like shellac, bear, you know, using shellac, um, and painting with that and setting fire to the, the shellac surface. Um, and kind of getting into it, just lots of, um, I'll, I'll put the remainder of the details on the, the more advanced course, um, but I want that to complement what the guest tutors do, so that, that will be following along soon. So anyhow, so if you're interested in that, um, to do, i say go to, so it's artyheaven.com VIP art retreats, um, there's lots more on the website so do go and have a good look around I'll do I'm not going to put too much onto this one because I don't want to take too much of your time uh but so yeah the dates there is a, the 2020 dates are May and June so go and take a look see if that um you know if anything works there for you so the current June um which is really only a couple of weeks away um is a is a pay now but all of the others i can arrange a payment plan with you if you would like to do that as well so i'll say do go and have a little look and uh see what's what um oh shellac work yeah paula you've worked with encaustic before i know shellac is the most amazing thing to work with you literally kind of color it you set light to it and flames come up but it just creates these most amazing techniques so um Oh my goodness, I have got so many different ways. There are so many ways of working with it. It really is as limitless as your imagination. So looking forward to sharing some of those with you. So um, anyhow, I won't take too much more of your time. Um, I am going to get ready. We've got another workshop on this evening. And then uh, I'll have a little break for a, a week or so. Uh, ready for, um, yeah, the next set of events that are going on up here. Anyhow, go and have a look around my site. If you've got any questions at all, um, just drop me a message. Very happy to um, get back to you. And you're welcome, Paula. I'm very happy to share the details with you. So I hope you found it helpful and useful. And um, I don't know, the reason, I just found I was so isolated when I started working with Encaustic. There was just nobody else doing it. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm doing these just to try and help other people and uh, give them the opportunity to kind of come together. I've got the most amazing space up here. Um, and it, it is just lovely. It's so peaceful. It's quiet. So um, I'm just kind of doing that to try and share that space with people and kind of provide an area that people can come and learn about it. So if that resonates with you, go and have um, go and check it out. Yeah, just artyheaven.com. Have a good look around and uh, I'd love to know what you think. Anyway, I'm going to say cheerio now and uh, I hope this